Hey everyone, Sean Gray here, making my second video, and this is one's out of request because from my last video I talked about this four-step manifestation process that I have done and am continuing to do, and it works without fail. It is absolutely incredible. Um, this isn't about an awakening and experience. This is strictly just about this manifestation process and just some of the ways that it's worked for me recently. Um, you know, I talked about it in the last video, an awakening experience video, that you know I had I was making good money, I was making lots of money, and then I got to this point where I was started losing everything and uh, stopped working and went on this whole spiritual journey and you know getting back to it. But there was a point when I had ran into a cash flow issue. And I, uh, I needed two grand, and uh, I, that's exactly what I needed. I didn't need a ton more than that. I, I needed, I needed two grand, and I went into this process. And sure enough, a couple days later, somebody walked up to me and handed me two grand in cash, and uh, and said, you know, I just feel, I feel called to give this to you to help you out to get you to get you uh, get things rolling for you again. So it absolutely works. And uh, I'll just jump right into it, you know. So the first thing is, the first step in this four-step process is to know the truth of who you are. And what that means is knowing the, the truth of the essence of who you are the, at the most pure level, you know. Not who you think you are, not who your ego has made you to be, but the truth of who you are in your heart and your soul and your deepest of consciousness and that it's really what that is is it's your divine being and you are very very powerful and you come from love and you are love and you're a source of love and the problem is is that there's this, there's this separation that happened and it was the separation of our true self and this self that we started to create because something happened in, in our past and you know generally it happens when we're a kid between the age of like zero and five, zero and six and it could be something as small as you know your mom forgot to feed you or somebody forgot to pick you up or somebody dropped you and when that happened immediately you, you tense up and it's no longer safe to be who you were you know, so you gotta, okay, I gotta be this. I, I can't be that because that's not safe. And that's where the brain comes in. That's what our brain is there for, our mind, our, our eyes. It's all a filter. It's a survival mechanism. And so we put up this guard and it's no longer safe to be that pure, vulnerable, loving being that we came into this world as. And, you know, and then we start building this cage around us and building these layers on us with this hard casing of, okay, society tells me I got to be like this. Okay, my parents want me to believe this. Okay, I can't do that because that's bad. Or I have to do this because this is good. And we start adding on these layers and build this cage around us and this box around us. And it, it's this ego, really, that's doing it to protect us. And we subconsciously do it to the point where we don't even know who we are anymore. We lost. We lose complete sight and, and intuition and feeling and connectedness to the source of, of, of who we truly are. So the first step in the process is getting back to that point of knowing who you are in your wholeness. And you are a divine being full of love and you, you, that's where you came from. It's, it's like this pattern right here. You know, this, this, the center of this, it's the purest form of love and everything flows out and comes back to it. And this pattern is, is, is so profound and it's, and it's in everything. But the, the key is to know that that is you and that's the power that you have in you and that's the truest essence form of who you are and what you are. So the first step in this four step manifestation process is knowing the truth of who you are in your wholeness. And now the second step in this process is knowing who you are in the moment. When you're asking for whatever it is you're asking, where are you at that point in time? Not where are you here again, but where are you here? Down in your, down in your heart and your soul. Are you asking this out of an intention of, you know, 
uh, selfish reasons or to glorify yourself. Hey, you know, I, I'm going to manifest this, this Ferrari because when I have this Ferrari, I'm going to get all the girls and I'm going to look so cool and, you know, or are you manifesting out of a uh, desire to, to spread more love and be of service and help and advance something, you know, in your life that is going to benefit, right? So you can't manifest from your head. You have to manifest from your heart that, that purest form of, of love. And uh, that's where all power is and comes from and goes to. So the first step is knowing who you are, the truth of who you are and your wholeness, that divinity, that love, that oneness of everything. The second thing is knowing where you're at and why you're asking and what's, what's the reason behind it and, and, and where are you asking from? Where are you at in that point in time? Okay, the third thing is knowing exactly what it is that you want. Extremely specific because the universe is will, will give you what you ask for if you go through those first two if you go through those first two steps. But so I mean you better be the, the same. Be careful what you careful what you wish for. It's cliche, but it's cliche for a reason. We just get desensitized to cliches because we hear them so often. But it has such a profound and deeper meaning. And so be very intentional and very specific for what it is that you want. Okay, so that's the third step. And then the fourth step is, is just the how. And the how, if you go through all those three steps, the how shows up. And it's not that you go through those three steps and you be like, okay, I know the truth of who I am. I know why I'm asking this, this good intention. And I know and the, the how appeared. And it's not a matter of now just sitting and waiting for things to show up. You have to do your part. It's a cooperative thing with this power, you know. Um, uh, Jesus said it, right? Jesus performed all these amazing miracles, but he said, I, I, I can't do this on my own. It's, it's the Father through me. It's God within. It's the power that I have within me, right? So those are the four steps, and I'm telling you, it works without fail. It is absolutely incredible. And... Uh, and I hope it helps you and has a big impact on, on your life the same way that it, it has for me and continues to. So um, I'm going to make another video about this, this separation of, this, of the ego and soul and how to know when it's your ego talking to you and how to know when it's your soul talking to you and, and which voice to listen to and when and, you know, because balance is also important. Um, but... Again, this is all about manifestation, this video is, and I'll recap those four steps for you real quick. It's knowing the truth of who you are in your wholeness, knowing the truth about where you're at at that point in time and what you're asking for, what, you, what your intention is. And the third thing is, is being extremely specific. And then the fourth thing is, is the how, and the how appears, but you have to do your part. So go, go give it a try, and I'm excited to see what you guys manifest and how it works out for you. So let me know in the comments, um, you know, come back to me, reach out to me, send me emails, uh, whatever it is. I love talking about this stuff and connecting with other enlightened individuals. So have a blessed day.